The next thing I have students look at is a solenoid. And let me just show you what I'm using to power my solenoid. This is a way to get a nice high current is a lawn and garden riding mower battery. They cost much less than actual car batteries, about $40. It's worth it. You'll have to buy a charger for it too. Just store it fully charged and it'll live for you for a long time. Uh, mine lasted for about five years before I needed it again. It's probably a worthy investment because I use it quite a bit of magnetism. It delivers a high current. So I'm now going to connect the circuit. When I connect the circuit, you'll see that all the compass needles make the exact same pattern that we saw before where these red ends of the needle, the north poles of the magnet, are all pointing toward this side of the solenoid and all the red ends are pointing away. And I can even do that trick that I did before where I take the compass needle on one end, let's see if you can see that, and as I bring it around, it will go 360 degrees all the way around just like for an actual compass. So what, what's the magnetic field like inside the solenoid? Well, if you put the compass inside the solenoid, you can even pass it through the solenoid, the magnetic field in the solenoid points this way. So the magnetic field in the solenoid points like this, the magnetic field going around the outside points like that. So magnetic field lines form closed loops. That's very important that your students understand that magnetic field lines form closed loops. We couldn't test that for the bar magnet because we can't actually put a compass inside the bar magnet, but the solenoid and the bar magnet make the same magnetic field pattern. Now, how do you know which side of the solenoid is north and which side is south? Or in other words, how do you know which way the magnetic field points inside the solenoid? This is something your students need to know. So, the current, and I don't know if you can see this, the current is coming in from the red, and then the current is going this way through the coils. So, magnet, so the current is going this way through the coils and then into the black and out. So to figure out the direction of the magnetic field inside, we curl our fingers in the direction the current flows in the solenoid and we point our thumb, or the thumb of the right hand. It has to be a right hand. This is a right hand rule. So we point our fingers in the direction that the current flows through the wires. The thumb points in the direction of the magnetic field inside the solenoid. So in the solenoid, the magnetic field points to the right and then the magnetic field comes out, circles around, and goes in again. Uh, another thing you can do is you can take the bar magnet and you can actually hold it near. And now I'm feeling that the bar magnet's being pulled into the solenoid. If I do it this way, notice I did not flip the bar magnet. The bar magnet is getting pulled in. But if I put south to south or north to north, then the bar magnet is being repelled out of the solenoid. Uh, it still works even if the iron is not magnetized. It'll just attract all the time. But that's a good demonstration to do for your students as well.